Welcome to Job Fair Worldwide. My name is Mr. Snow and I'll be conducting the video portion of your assessment. This video will be viewed by millions of our members as well as our employers throughout our network and interface. Do I have your permission to proceed with this assessment and interview? Yes. Okay. Now today I'm going to ask you a few simple questions, things that you should already know. Okay, and all that we require of you is that you look directly into the camera and you speak as cleanly and clearly as you possibly can so that we can accurately report your responses, okay? Okay. And we're going to start very simple. Uh, can you please state your name, age, and nationality? My name is Roxanne Passan. I'm 45 years old, and I'm Guyanese. Okay. How did you become interested in job in worldwide? I saw the ad in the newspaper. Okay. Um, I decided to call to find out. I spoke with Mr. Snow, and I became interested. Okay. Do you have any special training or technical skills at the moment? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, do you have any computer experience? Basic? Yeah, just the basics. Okay. Uh, do you use any particular programs like Word, Excel, Access? I've tried using Microsoft Word, just a little bit. Okay. And if we gave you free training for that, would you be able to? Oh, yes. Okay. I like them. Great. Um, are you currently working anywhere? Um are doing any side jobs? Yes, I am, because I do catering on, you know, part-time. I work with myself, so I will do that. Do you have a good command of the English language? I would say reasonable. Okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best, what number would you give your reading level? I would say 6. 6. Can you please read this for us, aloud, as it's written? Use your glasses. Thank you. Yeah. As mentioned in the opening article, Gregory suffers from an anxiety disorder. My excessive worrying was out of proportion and out of control, he says. How did Gregory regain control? To get perspective, he says, I accepted a kind help of my wife and friends. I also sought professional assistance and learned more about my condition. After making some lifestyle changes, I began to feel that I was in control of my condition, not that it was in control of me. Although I still experience bouts of anxiety, I now have a better sense of what triggers them and I know how to manage my disorder. Okay. While still holding that, can you find any mistakes in this paragraph? I'll have to look carefully. Yeah, take, take a moment. I accepted the kind help of my wife and friends. It was not, um, I don't think I see any mistake right now. Okay, there's only two, and it was on purposely said so. Because we also use this paragraph to test to see if you could do a job that we call proofreading and editing, mm -hmm. which is a job that you could do internationally with us. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look at the the very the second sentence after where it says control, mm, you would notice. Control. Okay, you notice the little parentheses at the top. Yes. It's supposed to be on the opposite side, right behind the comma. So that would have oh. been one of them. Okay. Uh, the next one is, in the second to the last line, where it says that I was in control of my condition, not that if, when it should have been it. Was well, when I was reading it, I noticed it that you made the correction on your own, <laughs> right? So I was wondering. I think probably I do have a problem with my sight. Okay. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. And you're actually doing better than a seven, by the way. All right, thank you. So, good job.
All right, next we're going to touch base on some math concepts, okay? Uh, and this is going to be basic math, okay? Uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, okay? In fact, uh, before we start, do you have a general understanding of mathematical concepts? I would say yes. Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. Where would you rate your math? About 4. About 4, okay. Now, you're going to be asked a series of second grade level math questions indicating to you the children of the age of seven years old will accurately answer these questions. You're going to be given five seconds to answer each. Five seconds is in one, two, three, four, five. So it's a fair amount of time, right? And uh, I'm also only allowed to state the question one time, so it is imperative that you are staying focused and paying attention to Set. Okay, is this tone of voice adequate for you? It is. Do you hear me clearly? Yes. Yeah. Okay, tell me when you're ready to start. You ready? Yeah. Okay. 120 plus 120. 240. Okay. 1,000 plus 8,220. That will be 18,220. Okay. 450. Plus 5,000. 5,450. 10,000 minus 5,500. 4,500. Okay. 5,000 minus 23,000. That will be 17,000. Okay. 100,000 minus 0,000. 100,000. 12 multiplied by 12. 144. Okay. 9 times 7. Okay. 13 times 5. <laughs> 65. Okay. 1,000 times 0. 0. More? Yeah, just a couple. 50 divided by 10. 5. 100 divided by 25. 4. Okay. 100 divided by 20. 5. 250 divided by 5. That concludes the math portion of this assessment. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, we're going to talk a little bit about your past work experience. You're currently 45, right? Yes. Okay. And how many jobs have you had before? Two. Two? Yes. Yes, and you've had two jobs prior. What was your last job? Tell me a little bit about it, where you worked, what it was that you were doing, what were your duties? I work at um, Shireen's Fantasy World on Regent Street. I worked for eight months. I was a supervisor there. Um, that's basically it. As a supervisor, what were your duties? Just to make sure the staff carry out their duties and to make sure everything goes well in the store, I was cashier also. Okay, uh, were you in charge of labor management? Were you checking time schedules? Were you doing payroll? Or I just did. Um, were you like checking up your books and the When the shift? boss is not around, I would pay the workers and make the books up and so on. Okay, just a couple more questions. Uh, were you ever fired from a job? Never. Okay. Have you ever been arrested? No. Okay. Two final questions. One, career-wise, what do you want to do with your life? I would really, really like to become a professional caterer, to own my own restaurant, and to do my catering professionally, and to, you know, give good services to my customers. Okay. Excellent service. Okay. And finally, why should someone hire you? What do you bring to the table? I would say, um, I would bring my best in a sense of um, commitment and hard work, loyalty, and I'm a very trustworthy person. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. That concludes this portion of the assessment.